June 3rd, The Secret of the Lord The secret friendship of the Lord is with them that fear Him. Psalm 25, verse 14 What is the sign of a friend? That he tells you secret sorrows? No, that he tells you secret joys. Many will confide to you their secret sorrows, but the last mark of intimacy is to confide secret joys. Have we ever let God tell us any of His joys? Or are we telling God our secrets so continually that we leave no room for Him to talk to us? At the beginning of our Christian life, we are full of requests to God. Then we find that God wants to get us into relationship with Himself, to get us in touch with His purposes. Are we so wedded to Jesus Christ's idea of prayer, Thy will be done, that we catch the secrets of God? The things that make God dear to us are not so much His great big blessings as the tiny things, because they show His amazing intimacy with us. He knows every detail of our individual lives. Him shall He teach in the way that He shall choose. At first we want the consciousness of being guided by God. Then, as we go on, we live so much in the consciousness of God that we do not need to ask what His will is because the thought of choosing any other will never occurs to us. If we are saved and sanctified, God guides us by our ordinary choices, and if we are going to choose what He does, not want, He will check, and we must heed. Whenever there is doubt, stop at once. Never reason it out why I shouldn't. God instructs us in what we choose, that is, He guides our common sense, and we can no longer hinder His Spirit by continually saying, Now, Lord, what is Thy will?